guys. I have my best friend Ashton on today. Hey guys. And she's gonna show us how to make this really cute peplum skirt. And all you need is what? You just need fabric, a nice skirt that you wanna put underneath. It doesn't matter because you're not attaching it onto your skirt. So you could interchange them yeah. all day, every day. This would be like brown. Yes. What, neon? Neon. Yeah. I have a print. You can do anything with it, and that's what I love about it the most. No okay. sewing, and it's just so easy to make. Yeah, it's really easy. It's okay. gonna take about five minutes. Well, let's get started. So Ash, what are the materials we're gonna need to make this? Okay, so you're gonna need a couple things. First, glue. So you can either do the hot glue gun, which is my favorite, and I think it works easiest. It dries fast. Or you can use a fabric glue. It's, yeah. um, it's quick dry. I, I think the hot glue gun works a little bit better, but you do have an option there. Definitely need scissors mm -hmm. to cut your fabric. Yeah. Need that. And then also pens. This yeah. is really important mm -hmm. for when you're cutting your fabric, for everything yeah. to stay in place. You definitely need pens. And then you're definitely gonna need measuring tape to measure your skirt. And then any type of long material you can close it with. Like I used a ribbon mm -hmm. and a chain. So, so you can use ribbon, chain, here's some elastic, anything that you want to close your peplum with, it's up to you. Um, be creative, as long as it's long and skinny, you can use it. And fabric. Fabric. I picked this kind out, you think it's gonna work? Yeah, I mean, we can, we can try it, see uh -huh. if it works. It is light and we're using hot glue, so I don't know if it's gonna show through, you know, the hot yeah. glue. I would suggest you use a darker fabric or one of a print, something of a color, but yeah. we'll try it out and okay. see if it works. <laughs> okay. Okay, so first you wanna lay your fabric, fold it in half and then lay it down flat. Make sure there's no air pockets or bubbles. You want everything to be extremely flat before cutting it. Then you're gonna measure your waist. Whoa. Okay, Michelle's 28. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so then you take your measurement and you're gonna divide it by two. So Michelle's 28, we're gonna do 14. And you want to lay it in your fabric, I mean on your fabric, line it up. Okay, so at the first point, it's gonna be straight and then you're gonna curve it, depending on how much movement you want in your peplum and how many you know, different cascading ruffles in it mm -hmm. um, is how much you're gonna curve it. So if you want a lot of motion and you want it to lay with a lot of fabric I do. and look yeah. very full, you want it to be extremely curved. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna start out straight with the 14 and then you're just gonna curve it all the way up. Okay, so you're gonna take your pen and you want to mark. So once you have your curve marked with your pen, you're gonna measure how long you actually want your peplum to lay in the back. So I want how long? Kind of short. You want it short? Yeah. Okay, because mine's long. You right. Want it like maybe half of that. Okay. Yeah. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and is that too long right Probably there? Probably like uh, no, that's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go in the middle of that and we're gonna go with seven. So then we take seven. I would I suggest you just add a couple inches just in case, give or take, you mess up. So she wants seven in the back, which is gonna be the highest point. We're gonna go with nine. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna square off your curve. So you're gonna have a curve right here and just draw a line straight up. If you need help, let the fabric be your guide on the bottom. Since it's a light fabric, I'm just gonna do dots. Okay, so then you just made a nice little line. Then you're gonna take your longest point, which Michelle wanted seven. I'm gonna do nine just to make sure. And you're gonna measure it all the way around from your curve and make a mark. So I'm gonna go from there. So you're gonna follow this, right? Yeah, you're gonna follow your curve line around and make sure it's nine inches all the way around. So here's a smaller arc and then here is the bigger one, the one outside. So the one inside is the inline and then this is the outline nine inches from the inner line. So waist, so this is your waist, yeah? Yes, so okay. this is your half of your waist. Yeah. And then you're gonna do nine inches all the way around. So next, you're gonna pin it. Inside. Oh, yeah, okay. make sure it's pinned on the inside because you're gonna be cutting on the outside. Okay, there perfect. Go. All right. Okay, so after it's pinned, we're just gonna go ahead and cut it on the outer line and the inner line. So how many actual yards are we gonna need to, if we need to go to the fabric store and actually go get it? I got two just to make sure, and you can see I have a lot you have a lot left, left over. Okay, so once you clean up your edges and you cut it, you okay. kinda just wanna be careful because the pins are in there, but you want to hold it up to your waist 
and see how it would lay. Mm -hmm. Right now, it is pretty even all the way around, so do you want it shorter in the front, or do you um, want shorter? I kind of want to do like a little round thing that you got going, same thing, so. Short in the maybe front? If we, yeah, maybe if we take just like, let's do maybe one and a half. Okay. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the fabric back down, and this is your front part, the part that's not connected. Remember we connected, the one that is connected is gonna be the back of your skirt. So Michelle wants it to be a little bit more tapered in the front. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our measuring tape, we're gonna take one and a half, measure one and a half, mark it with our pen. And it's gonna taper in, so depending on how how dramatic you want yours to be, you're gonna end up smoothing it out with your back line because we're not cutting the back, we're just taking some off the top. Since you're the professional cutter here, I'm gonna let you do All it. All right. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the pens out. You can open it up. That's your peplum. Okay, cute. So we're gonna hold it up to you just to see how it lays. Cool. So you wanted yours a little open in the front. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Yeah. Okay. So we so. like how it lays. Mm -hmm. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bind the top. So this is how we're gonna keep your peplum on your waist and also add the closing, closure, whatever you wanna call it. Um, mm -hmm ribbon, yeah. elastic. So we're gonna go ahead and try to place that on the waistline, which is right here. Yeah. I bought one and a half yards mm -hmm. of ribbon, so what you're gonna do is fold it in half and then place the middle point in the middle of the waistline. So then you're gonna grab your glue okay. and you're gonna carefully glue the ribbon onto the inner waistline. We're gonna start from the middle. Since the fabric is so thin, you don't need to use too much glue. Yeah. So glue the ribbon, carefully lay it down. We're gonna do it inch by inch. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so we just finished the other side and now we are just going to put it around Michelle and see how it turned out. Okay, okay so we're just gonna throw it around. Michelle wanted it really short in the front. She changed her mind, so we went ahead and cut more off. But if you like yours to close, just remember you can always add more inches to your waistline if you wanted to. But we went ahead and chopped some off. Yes. And here it is, cute. And the best part about it is you can just have one skirt, mm -hmm. one black skirt, and you can make so many of these. You can have one that's short in the front, you can have one that's really long, you can have one that's even way longer. Awesome, so if you guys wanna go check out more tutorials like this, go check out Ashton's. YouTube channel and it's Ashton's Closet. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also comment below, let me know what you guys think about the peplum and we'll see you next time. Yes. Okay. Bye, Bye. guys.